Hello, welcome back. This is Tyson again with Ecola Termite Services. I'm one of the inspectors here at Ecola. Do you believe you're seeing termites in your home? In this video, I'm going to tell you how you can be sure. All right, so the common signs of termites, we want to start off with, there's going to be two main types of termites in California. We've got the subterranean termite, which actually nests in the soil and it comes up to the home or to roots to feed. And the other kind of termite is a drywood termite. And for those, these nest inside the wood, inside the structure, the framing, the studs, the ceiling joists, rafters. Um, and what you want to look for with these is kind of a salt and pepper uh, dropping. It's almost like a football shape, but it's very small and the color actually matches the grain of the wood that they're feeding on. Part of either the dry wood or the subterranean termites is a swarmer. It's still in the termite family. These actually turn into the king and queen of the colony and they're foraging or searching for a new place to live and start a new colony. There are subterranean swarmers and there are also dry wood swarmers. So if you're seeing them fly around your house, they normally burst out 100, 200, couple hundred at a time. What's unique about them is rather than an ant swarmer or an ant queen, which has different length wings, the termite swarmers, both the subterranean and the drywood, both have equal length wings. If you're trying to differentiate whether it's a drywood swarmer or a subterranean swarmer, the subterranean swarmers are gonna be all black and a little bit smaller. The drywood swarmers are going to be mostly black with a red head. And that's also gonna tell you more of what kind of treatment you're going to need. If, if you see subterranean termites, somebody misidentifies it and they're trying to sell you a fumigation to cover your whole house, fumigation won't actually kill the whole colony of a subterranean family infestation. So fumigation is actually only for drywood termites. The subterranean termites, how you take care of the subterranean is since they nest in the soil, you actually have to get a treatment into the soil. So if you discover that you have subterranean termites, which are the ones that are coming up from the soil, uh, what you want to look for is a mud tube. They are very small. They're building them for protection. They're like tunnels from the nest up to their food source or moisture source. They also like to seek out leaks in your house. So if you have an air conditioner under your house and even the condensation from the air conditioner is dripping into the soil, there's a chance you're gonna have subterranean termites attacking that moist area. Commonly what we also find is if there's trees cut down and the roots or the stumps are left around the house, and you're still having those sprinklers, you know, moisten the soil around those roots, subterranean termites love that also. So if you can keep everything around your house clean, trimmed, so you can actually see if there's mud tubes or they're attacking those stumps, that's an easy way to, well, an easier way to find the subterranean termites. If you have leaks in your walls, commonly they will attack those leaks as well. A leaky spigots outside your house, uh, make sure you fix those leaks. They generally want to seek out those moisture sources that are close to their food sources. So water that's close to wood is perfect for them. Getting back to the dry wood termites where you're going to look for the salt and pepper droppings. That's the evidence they leave behind. They're very good at hiding themselves. So if you see a bunch of pieces of wood outside your house, they have a great coat of paint on them. I would actually touch them or use something to put pressure on it to see if it crinkles because under that paint could be no wood left. You're seeing grain through the paint and sometimes the termites have actually eaten all the wood behind that paint and all you see is the paint. For both kinds of termites, they generally swarm in the atmosphere outside in the environment and they're gonna start from the outside of your house and work their way in. So. If you could check your eaves, rafter tails, fascia boards, any sort of trim around windows, doors, they're generally gonna attack that first. So if you can focus on that, make sure those are solid pieces of wood, not rotten. They also like the dry rot. Once the wood starts getting soft, they love attacking that as well. All right, thanks again for watching. This is Tyson with Ecola, one of the inspectors. Hopefully this gave you information on how to identify whether it's a drywood termite or a subterranean termite, what to look for, how to keep your house cleaner 
and uh, the sooner you can discover the damage or discover the termites in the house and sooner you can take care of it or replace the wood, the better off your bee and the less expensive the problem is gonna be for you. So again, this is Tyson, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.